This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer C720 Chromebook with a cracked screen. And we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer C720 Chromebook. A couple comments before we start. This procedure is for Acer C720, not the previous version, C710. We have a separate video for that. Uh, the procedures are different and the screens are different, so make sure you have the Acer C720 and not the C710. Okay, and the second comment, this laptop has an internal battery, so um, make sure the laptop is turned off and unplugged before you start. There's no way to remove the battery before you start, so make sure you do that. Okay, once you turn off the laptop and verified it's the right model, we can get started. The first thing we need to do is remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. And before we do that, I'm going to show you the tools we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver, and that's for removing the screws. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck or to manipulate cables and a hobby knife or an exacto knife and that's to lift up adhesive tape that we may encounter okay so let's get started the first step is snapping off the screen bezel the plastic frame around the screen and for that what i like to do is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and search until i find no place to grab the bezel and gently pull up and out and listen for snapping sounds once you hear snapping sounds that's a good sign and in this way we go around the screen finding a good place to get a hold and keep pulling up and out and snapping the bezel off like so And in this way, we do the bottom also. Like so. And once we get to the bottom, the, the hinge covers may be stuck. So what we do is put our screwdriver inside the hinge covers and go like this, lift it up. And if that doesn't work, we go on the back and there's a seam on the back on the bottom that we need to open and we can easily use the screwdriver to open the seam and gently push the bezel up or we can use the hobby knife to open the seam and gently push the bezel up okay once we do that we try again and there's several more tricks we can try. So this this part I just kind of lifted up and out. And there's one more place. What we can do is push the bezel up like so. And also try again our trick with the screwdriver. And almost out. Go back. Try it again. Push the bezel out. And what we see is maybe we're getting stuck over here where the hinge cover, where the hinge covers meet. So we go again. And eventually it will come out just may take extra time. Another trick is to fold the screen forward a little bit so that there's more room. Okay, so you can see it was a little bit hard to get the bezel out. So it's going to be a little bit hard to get the bezel in. And the trick I found for this is put your, put your thumbs on the hinge covers and push it down like so. And that's how you get the bezel in. Then you snap the rest of the bezel in once you have the new screen in place okay so let's try to get the bezel out again what we're going to do is 
open up the seam make sure that there's seam is open in the hinge covers also and work our way up once we get this last corner we push the screen forward and twist it and it's out okay so this was a little bit hard but it can be done another thing that i notice is that this cable comes out of its secure holder so you want to push the cable back in before you put the screen back in all right this was the hardest part the rest will be a lot easier once we remove the screen bezel we need to remove the screen from the screen assembly and it's secured by four screws two on the top and two on the bottom so we use our PH0 screwdriver to remove the four screws, like so, one, two, three, and four. Once we do that, we take our fingernails and gently tilt the screen forward, make sure it's not getting stuck on anything, and put the screen down. This screen has only one connector at the bottom and it's secured by some adhesive tape. So we're going to use our X-Acto knife to gently lift up the adhesive tape, like so. Help along with the exacto knife, and it may be getting stuck on the um, adhesive tape that's on the back of the screen. So we keep moving. This is strong adhesive tape, so be careful when you get to the connector, so you don't pull the connector off. Once we do that. What we can do is loosen up the cable so it's not in its secure mounts. Before it was in the secure mounts, this will give us more room to work with. And then we gently pull the connector out, like so. Okay, let's reinsert the connector to show what a proper connection looks like. When you re reinsert it, you slide it in. You'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close-up of the connection. This is a properly connected connector. There should not be a gap between the two sides of the connection. The seam between the two sides of the connection should be flush. Okay, now let's disconnect it and let's take a look at this screen. Okay, this is a this is called a 11.6 inch LED slim screen. There's a couple peculiar things about it. This screen is made specifically for this laptop. So there are other screens that look very similar, but it will not look for, work for this laptop. There are two reasons for this. Uh, first reason is this connector. This is called a 30-pin connector, and most other 11.6 screens have a 40-pin connector, so the connector will not work. And also the mounting holes, they'll be slightly different than what it is in other screens, 11.6 screens. So you need this exact part number to get the right screen. The part number is N116BGE-EA2. And wherever you buy it from, make sure it does have a 30-pin connector instead of a 40-pin connector. Uh, we as screen surgeons expect to have this screen available in early 2014. So when we do have it available to buy it from us, please go to www.screensurgeons.com and there will be a short form for you to fill out with your laptop model name number and then we'll guide you to buy the right screen online. Uh, when you do buy the screen from us, what you get is this toolkit. It comes for free with every screen that we ship. Uh, we also ship our screens at no charge using priority mail so you get it in two or three days 
and we offer a two-year warranty and all our screens against defects and free email technical support. If you live outside of the United States, just follow the regular checkout procedure and most likely we can ship to your country. Okay, uh, once you do get the screen connected as I showed you, mount the screen, put the screws back on, thread the video cable through those uh, through the mounts over here just like it is right now let's get a close-up make sure the cable looks like this and then snap the screen bezel back on with your thumbs down to snap it down and uh, that should be it okay uh, once again my name is Eugene Panrutkovich I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com Thank you very much and good luck.